Hi everybody, it's Jason from the Yahoo and the Tour channel and we are going over the book of Adam and Kawa today and it is a solo operation here and so I hope that is all right with you guys. Our family is your family and your family is our family. We love you guys very, very much and we hope that you guys are having a wonderful first day. It is a first day of the week. It is a day when we are to be working. It is the day that uh, everybody has made into their their day of worship and that is contrary to the laws, statutes and commandments of our creator. And the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Creator are an amazing thing that most of the world have forsaken, they've neglected, they don't think that it applies to them. And as we read through the book of Adam and Kawa, it is very, very clear that it was one simple, not even one simple mistake, but it was one mistake that was made that was breaking the laws, statutes, and commands. And because of that, all of humanity has fallen. And so as we try to figure out a way to get back into the garden, to get back into the kingdom to come, to be those people who are in covenant with our creator, there's only one way to do it. And that is with the keeping of the laws, statutes, and commands and the faith of Messiah Yahushua. And for those who do not know who Messiah Yahushua is, there were no J's in Hebrew. And so a, our Messiah's name was never called Jesus. His name was always called Yahushua. Yah saves. Yah is with us. Um, and it also means salvation as well. All right, we will, con we will begin, and this will be a short little section today because we are having conflict in the house like normal. Okay, verse one, and this is chapter 59 for anyone that is following along with this. But Satan, the hater of all good, did not allow them to end their prayers, for he called to his hosts, and they came, all of them. He then said to them, since Adam and Kawa, whom we beguiled, have agreed to pray to Elohim night and day and to entreat him to deliver them, and since they will not come out of the cave until the end of the 40th day, and since they will continue their prayers as they have both agreed to do, that he will deliver them out of our hands and restore them to their former state. See what we shall do unto them. And his host said unto him, Power is thine, O our master, to do what thou listest. Then Satan, great in wickedness, took his host and came into the cave in the 30th, 30th night of the 40 days and won. And he smote Adam and Kawa until he left them dead. Then came the word of Elohim unto Adam and Kawa, who raised them from their suffering. And Elohim said unto Adam, Be strong, and be not afraid of him who has just come to thee. But Adam wept and said, Where wast thou, O my Elohim, that they should smite me with such blows, and that this suffering should come upon us, upon me and upon Kawa, thy handmaid? Then Elohim said unto him, O Adam, see, he is Lord and master of all thou hast. He who said he would give thee divinity, where is the love for thee? And where is the gift he promised? For once has it pleased him, O Adam, to come to thee, to comfort thee, and to strengthen thee, and to rejoice with thee, and to send his host to guard thee. Because thou hast hearkened to him, and hast yielded to his counsel, and hast transgressed my commandment, but hast followed his behest. Then Adam wept before Yahuwah and said, O Yahuwah, because I transgressed a little, Thou hast sorely plagued me in return for it. I ask thee to deliver me out of his hands, or else have pity on me and take my soul out of my body now to the strange land, it now in this strange land. Then Elohim said unto Adam, If only there had been this sign and praying before, ere thou didst transgress, then wouldst thou have rest from the trouble in which thou art now. But Elohim had patience with Adam, and let him and Kawa remain in the cave until they have fulfilled the forty days. But as to Adam and Kawa, their strength and flesh withered from fasting and praying, from hunger and thirst, for they had not tasted either food or drink since they left the garden, nor were the functions of their bodies yet settled, and they had no strength left to continue in prayer from hunger, until the end of the next day to the fortieth. They were fallen down in the cave, yet without speech escaped from their mouths, was only in praises. All right, guys. And so we will leave it at that. I am going to leave it with one chapter here, and hopefully we will bring that back the band tomorrow. And hopefully, y'all willing, we shall have the rest of the crew here. Um, but until then, we hope that you guys have a wonderful day. We hope that you guys are seeking our creator where he's able to be found in the laws, statutes, and commandments that are found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and the faith of Messiah Yahushua. It takes two, two ways. It is a two-lane road that both lanes need to be filled. We need to be very, very clear that the only thing we have that we have in this life that we can defend is our soul. And if we've given this up and we're eating bacon and we're eating pork and we don't care about the dietary laws and we don't care about the laws, statutes, and commandments of our creator or his appointed times, then our Messiah says he will tell us to depart from him. 
And that is going to be very hurt, hurtful words. And it will be an eternity of words that we will hear and we'll never ever have another chance at this. So we have 120 years to make this right. Hopefully you have a good day. I'm out.